Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is classification 2. Uh, we are going to discuss the last class of the phylum Codata and this is uh, class Mammalia. In class mammalia, we have so many examples, and these are the most advanced animals uh, in the kingdom animalia, where we have human beings, and we have other mammals, as we shall see. So we can say that uh, examples... We have kangaroo, we have rats, etc. So we're going to look at the characteristics and one of the characteristics is that they have mammary glands, they have mammary glands which produce milk for suckling their young ones. For suckling their young ones, hence the name or the term mammalia. The term mammalia comes from the fact that they have mammary glands which produce milk for suckling their young ones. Number two, their bodies are covered with fur. Or hair. So their bodies are either covered with fur or hair. They have four limbs that is, two hind limbs and two fore limbs. They have a diaphragm that separates thoracic from abdominal cavity. The, the diaphragm separates the thoracic from the abdominal cavity that is from thorax to the abdomen. So separates the thorax and the abdomen. They also have sweat glands that secret sweat For thermoregulation, that is the regulation of temperature and excretion, the presence of sweat glands enable them to be able to regulate their temperature with the temperature of the surroundings. Therefore, they are endothermic just like the class Aves, what we also know as homoeothermic. Their, te their body temperature does not depend on the temperature of the surroundings.
they have a four chambered hut consisting of two atria and two ventricles. They have a closed circulatory system. Just like the other members of the phylum Codata. And then they have lungs for gaseous exchange. So basically those are the characteristics of the class mammalia that we have seen, which we have said that is the most advanced class within uh, the kingdom uh, animalia. So they have mammary glands which produce milk for suckling their young ones hence the term mammalia. The bodies are covered with fur or hair. Of course, for insulation against heat loss, they have four limbs, that is two hind limbs and two fore limbs. They have a diaphragm that separates thoracic from abdominal cavity. Have sweat glands that secrete sweat or that produce sweat. Uh, for thermoregulation, thermoregulation is the temperature regulation and also for excretion, getting rid of excess water, excess salts. They are endothermic or homoeothermic, that is their body temperature does not depend on the temperature of the surroundings. Have a four-chambered heart consisting of two atria and two ventricles. They have a closed circulatory system and they have lungs for gaseous exchange. Uh, just a point to note uh, that uh, in as much as we are saying that uh, they have mammary glands for suckling the young ones, we have some mammals lay eggs which hatch outside the body. And these mammals are referred to as monotremes. Monotremes or the egg-laying mammals. Uh, for instance, the dark billed platypus is a mammal that uh, lays eggs. We also have some mammals that are found in water, like the whale. So we can basically also say that uh, some are terrestrial, that means found on land, while others are aquatic. So we have some mammals that are found in the water, e.g. the whale and the dolphin. So we are going to have an assignment based on this So the first question, state four distinguishing features of class mammalia, features that are only specific to class mammalia. And number two, what mode of fertilization is found in mammals? 
Uh, three, state the role of mammary glands. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye.